Here's a little tip on using autocorrect in InDesign, and this works in a lot of versions of InDesign uh, since they've had autocorrect in there. It, autocorrect allows us to do something like this. If let me go back out of um, preview mode here, but if I come up under edit out, edit rather, and go to spelling, you'll see we have autocorrect. If I turn that on, what that does is it enables the ability for us to go out and if I'm typing words, to have InDesign automatically correct them if they're misspelled. Now it, it's not going to work right out of the gate. We've got to go in and kind of train InDesign. So to do that, if I go under Edit and come under Preferences and go to Autocorrect, you guys will see right here it's enabled. We can autocorrect capitalization errors, which happens automatically, or we can come right down here and tell it to add some kind of word. So if I click Add and I come to misspelled word, and let's say I misspelled something like um, the all the time, I could type in T-E-H, how I spell it, and then type in the correction. I click OK. That's basically in InDesign's brain from here on out. Okay, that's in the preferences. So if I click OK, the way it works is not going to go find them, but if I start typing, you can see right here, if I start typing, let me zoom in a bit, T-E-H space, it'll do the autocorrect, right? Okay, so now we can go in, like I said, and we can kind of train InDesign, but we can also use it as a little bit of a tool here to help us out. So if I go to Edit Preferences and go back to Autocorrect, let's suppose you guys type in certain words a lot and you want to use shorthand. Well, that's what we can use Autocorrect for. If I go to Add again, once again, we're just going to coach it. And I know that if I type in something like K1, which I'm not really going to type in, right? I mean, that's not a word, so I'll just put that in there. I know that that's going to be like the name of my company. So Brian Wood Training Inc. Let's say I do this a lot. Uh, Training.com, LLC, that's the name of my company. When I, when I type in K1 and hit space, it's going to automatically insert that name. So I'll click OK. There it is. I can coach it in any way I want. Click OK. The space K1 space. And there we go. You guys can see BrianWoodTraining.com, LLC, put in there. So it's a, just a really quick tip. I'm working with autocorrect. There's some really great things you guys can do with this to make it use, I guess you could call it shorthand.